Welcome back to Newsy Live. The Biden administration is laying out steps to prevent veteran suicide. The plan includes delivering more resources to make sure military service members have the resources they need when they come home. Newsy military affairs correspondent Therese Garnier joins us live. Therese, numbers you have show a plan like this is urgently needed. Yes, that is true. More than 6,200 veterans died by suicide in 2019 alone, according to the Department of Veteran Affairs. But now the Biden administration is promising to take extra preventative measures after acknowledging that suicide is not only an issue among veterans, but also active duty military members. Uh, first of all, Therese, um, the, the president's plan is a good one. Uh, and it's nice to see that we're coming out with a presidential-led nationwide effort to address the problem of suicide for our active duty service members as well as our veterans. Retired Admiral Rick Snyder is a board member of One More Day, a nonprofit organization committed to helping prevent suicides among military, veterans, and first responders. But his passion for helping others started several years ago when he was in charge of the Navy Suicide Prevention Program. My very first um, command of a Navy helicopter squadron one of my two senior enlisted folks died by suicide about two weeks after I took command. And I saw firsthand the devastating impact that had um, obviously on that sailor, but that sailor's families and the rest of the organization and stayed with me to this day. Admiral Snyder says combating this issue has been an ongoing challenge for years. This idea that seeking help for uh, mental health is, is somehow weak. Uh, or or marks you as uh, as someone who's not successful. The um, and so it's been a large effort on the military's part to try and reduce that stigma, both in policy and in action. Uh, this university is about University of Memphis President Michael Rudd was very involved in the Department of Defense's 2018 suicide prevention strategy. He says the actions the Biden administration is currently taking are a good expansion on what has already been established. Those new actions include improving lethal means safety, enhancing crisis care and facilitate care transitions, increasing access to and delivery of effective care, addressing upstream risk and protective factors, and increasing research coordination, data sharing, and evaluation efforts. I think one of the things that we know now is that some of these interventions that have proven effective, that have been helpful, that are very simple, um, really help people build some basic skills I personally about managing their own emotional life um, and how to manage their own emotional upset uh, and when they're struggling, when and how to reach out to get assistance if they feel like they're not able to manage uh, independently. But many refuse to seek help while in the military. Uh, ultimately, the concern is about the impact on career progression, the impact on your deployability, the impact on all sorts of things in terms of advancement. That's how stigma is maintained. I mean, those are the kind of things we take a serious look at. In 2020, 580 active, reserve, and National Guard members took their own lives, according to the Department of Defense. We've been working on it for years to try and reduce that stigma. With some success, I believe, but it's not just a military problem. It's a problem for our military folks. It's a problem for society, and then it bleeds down into our veterans when they leave military service. Women veterans die by suicide at almost twice the rate as civilian women, according to the Department of Defense. But Rudd and Snyder believe that if service members can get the help they need before leaving the military, that'll lessen the number of veterans who feel they need to take their life later on down the road. Back to you. Uh, Therese, if someone does need help, is there a number or a hotline out there? Yes, if someone needs help or they know of someone else that may be seeking help, they can always call the Veterans Crisis Hotline, which is 1-800-273-8255, or they can also text the number 838255. Newsy Military Affairs Correspondent Therese Garnier, thank you so much. Ahead on Newsy Live, a first look.